So we come to the 34th move <clears throat> of the whole 35 sequence moves, excuse me. So yeah, this is uh, the 34th move, the penultimate one, basically the second from the end. Um, <clears throat> we start three forms together, the eight, the eight brocades, uh, the eight brocades Qigong form, and we've got an 18 form Qigong sequence, and then this little nine form are stuck on at the end. Basically, it's three forms stuck together. And again, you've got nine, 18, and an eight form. They're all stuck together. 35 moves is the 34th move. This one is the eighth move of the nine, the ending nine. Um, but again, it's called bringing down the heavens. Now again, it's a nice, simple move before you go to the usual Tai Chi closure, which is generally at the end of most forms and the beginning sometimes, um, or a lot of times. But I digress. This is a really simple motion. It's just breathing in coming up here and exhaling down the front, okay? So you're breathing in, bringing the hands up. You imagine the breath going up the back of the spine and down the front of the body, okay? Or vice versa, I've seen it done many different ways. Um, basically, Within the traditional forms, this would be like the governing vessel and a conception vessel running from the crown to the tailbone. Okay, you've got the cranial chakra, uh, sarasa, and it's you believe there's like, or you visualize there's a pump pumping the breath back down, and then there's the muladhara pump on the tailbone pumping the breath back up the spine. You don't have to really know that. Traditionally, I've, I've done that in the other videos, but we're just gonna go with the movement and mix up the movement and the breath. Okay, so it's a simple movement, basically. But again, I'm gonna go a lot more detail with the breath. We're not going to the traditional breathing like you get in Qigong, which is breathing to the belly like a balloon, which tends to massage all the internal organs. We're gonna go with the Pilates setup Okay, the yogic breath, the Pilates setup, and the hypnotic breath, a bit of a mixture. So let's go into that right now, okay? So we're gonna zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, the opposite of what you normally would do within the traditional form, okay? This is more Pilates style, okay? And if you like, before you start, get them two middle fingers touching underneath the breast bones, palms on the lower lobes of lungs, keep your shoulders down, and as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out the abdominals right now, that's gonna help us breathe into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach, okay? Again, that's the washing machine going there, but again, don't worry, we're gonna relax, even though there's noise going on. So again, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, breathing in through the nose, and exhaling through pursed lips for as long as you like through pursed lips. So you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips. And as you do that now, you can let them fingers go, safe in the knowledge that breath is going into things lower lobes of lungs. You just felt that, okay? Because there's nowhere else for the breath to go apart from into your lower lobes of lungs because you're at this second zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, and taking your navels towards the spine, and allowing that breath to come in low and deep into these lower lobes of the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. It's what we call lateral thoracic breathing in Pilates. It helps us breathe anywhere but the belly button. It helps us use our pelvic floor and our corset muscle, the transverse abdominus, in the most efficient manner, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button, but breathe low and deep into these lower lobes of lungs. Lovely. So that's purely the Pilates breath, in short. Okay, it's what we call lateral thoracic breathing in Pilates. As you throw on that corset muscle, that powerhouse, that girdle of strength, that corset muscle, the transverse abdominus, as you're zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals right now, Breathing through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips. Lovely. So we're gonna go down the yogic path. We wanna relax a bit with that noise going on. So again, we're gonna close the mouth and go a little bit more down the yogic path. 
Okay, so you just tune into my voice. Okay, you forget all the noise outside, just tune into my voice and your breathing. Now, you're still zipping up power weight floor and scooping out your abdominals, breathing in through the nose, but now you're closing the mouth and breathing out through the nose. That smaller filter through the nose, okay? That smaller filter through the nose is gonna help you elongate the out breath in a sort of yogic manner. It's what you call cleansing breath, filtering breath, okay? As we zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals and take the navel towards the spine, okay? And that's gonna help us filter that breath and elongate the out breath longer than the in breath, okay? Or basically, the whole of the wheel cycle is lengthened by going in through this smaller filter for the nose. As we still keep the Pilates principles, same deal, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, and keep breathing in and out through the nose, okay? Because you'll naturally feel that wheel cycle of the breath lengthen naturally by breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the nose. That'll naturally fall on that out breath. That out breath, as you can feel right now, as you're doing this, will want to fall longer than the in breath. So simply allow that to happen and consciously take your mind to that out breath and elongate that out breath longer than the in breath. Quadruple it, double it, triple it, whatever you like the out breath, make it longer than the in breath. Okay, the in breath's conscious thought, the out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending the out breath longer than the in breath, we're just encouraging them restful relaxation responses and endless streams of comfort. Lovely. So that's the hypnotic side we're bringing in there. The in breath's conscious thought, the out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending your out breath longer than the in breath, we're encouraging sleep, digestion, rest and relaxation, all on that lovely elongated out breath. All the things you don't think about, okay? The parasympathetic nervous system responses will be benefited by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. All the things you don't think about, cellular communication, organ function, etc. All being benefited by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath, allowing that simplicity just to relax the mind. As we still zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, breathing out through the nose, and consciously elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. Lovely. Now again, if you want to take it onto slightly more advanced yogic breath, then all we do is grip at your esophagus, we narrow the esophagus, and make ujjayi breath, okay, victorious breath through the throat. So again, same deal, zip up, scoop out the abdominals, breathing out through the nose, but now we grip at the esophagus, or narrow the esophagus, and we make this sound, it's like a It's like a sighing breath, sort of like going with the mouth shut. Soft, silky, whistling, Ujjayi breath, that raspy sound from the back of the throat. If you can't get that, don't worry. Just keep on breathing as you are, okay? And be aware of the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, no matter what breath you're doing, Ujjayi breath or not. If you can't get it, don't worry. If you can, keep on narrowing that esophagus, breathing in through the nose, and exhaling through the nose. And again, as we grip at the esophagus, you'll feel that lovely, soft, silky, whistling sound from the back of the throat. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Okay, cease your breathing. Okay, that's sort of like focusing breath. Okay, sometimes you do that when you're trying to do a fine motor skill, like thread a needle, uh, some DIY or something. You'll do this natural Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Even like a surgeon, I've you know, been at the dentist, I've had the dentist sort of, is about to focus on something. It's a natural focusing breath, but we're overemphasizing that right now as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, either with Ujjayi breath or not. Lovely, so we're gonna link this to Vinyasa, breath synchronized movement in Sanskrit. 
in yoga they call that breath synchronized movement now again we're going to bring in the one leg with this because again it's just movement we're playing with movement okay i'm not going too much into movement but on the elongated out breath part we're going to lengthen that movement okay so again i'll go back and demonstrate the movement we're taking we're not going through the seven chakras that it generally benefits in a traditional form and the governing vessel and the conception vessel coming up and down okay even though i'll give you that knowledge you don't have to know that we're just going with a movement coming up and down so again we're going to empty one leg fill up the next one leg empties and it's two hands each time two hands one leg so from here Gonna breathe in and exhale down. You fill out that leg, then empty the other leg. Breathing, come up and exhale down. Breathing, come up the back of the body, then exhale down the front of the body. Feel that soft cushion of the earth. Again, if you want to go high, you can go high, if you can. But exhale this part down slow. Really slow with that out breath. Okay, again, if you struggle with the balance, you can either just touch down on the toe and carry on that elongated out breath for as long as you like. Okay, if you want to just go small motions, go small motions, breathing in and exhale. Breathing in, coming up the back of the body. Just keep on calibrating and synchronize the breath and the motion. Remember, explore it, that speed and tempo and that range. Okay, so it can be a millimeter, a centimeter, or a foot. You're lifting the foot off the floor or higher. Slow is harder, fast is easier. Bigger motions will be harder. Smaller motions will be easier. So exploit the range, speed, and tempo of these exercises to make it as easy or as hard as you like. If you sort of can't balance for long, put the toe down and then carry on that exhale, that elongated exhale. Just making it hypnotic with that breath. Gather in, zip up and hollow, lengthen up for the crown, breathing coming up, exhaling coming down the front of the body. So again, the motion is coming up the back, then coming down the front of the body. And just elongate the exhale for as long as you like. Gather in, zip up and hollow, with ujjayi breath or not. That ujjayi breath, will help stimulate the thyroid gland, which helps us weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat within the body. Helps us fan the fire to burn the toxins in the body. Helps us fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. It gives the mind something to focus on. But no matter if you can get ujjayi breath or not, just be aware of the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, as it weaves that tapestry of relaxation and every single organ, cell, Sinew the body at will. Down the shoulders to relax. Lovely. Tai Chi closure. Next. Bang.